All right. Just did the uh, goal Z, so figured do a couple black locks. I've been doing a lot of purple locks lately. Um, this is the Eva Duel. It has, uh, what does it have? It's got, I want to say six sliders. Maybe it's five. Six sliders, I think, down each side. Um, and they each have their own sidebar. So it interacts with sidebar on the right, sidebar on the left. Um, each of those sliders have some uh, false gates in them. And they bite pretty nasty-like. So we'll go ahead and uh, put a tensioner in. Now, I had picked this lock before, and I was getting frustrated because I was like, I know it's open, everything's jiggling, why isn't it open? Well, it turns out that this tensioner was too high up and I was pushing on this, uh, I guess, key centering piece there. Did I bring my keys? I did, okay. So let's see if we can see that. You see that little triangle at the top that appears when I turn it? Well, that drops down into the keyway, and with the tensioner, I was pushing up on it. And so even when the thing was all picked, it wouldn't open. <laughs> so that was pretty frustrating to figure out. So what I got to do when I put the tensioner in here, I mean, you could tension on the bottom, but that kind of gets in the way of picking the left side pins. So instead of putting it at the top, drop it down a bit. And what I'm going to probably do is after I pick the right side, I'll put another tensioner in the bottom, uh, and then I'll reset the top tensioner. Um, just to make sure that that top thing is not in the way. So I'll drop that down a bit like that. With my tensioner, this is just a piece of music wire that's been shaped into a tensioner. Rotate that a bit. Uh, hopefully that's in focus. And we'll get to picking. So, um, let's see, I got a medium hook here. And we'll just go on the right side because I'm pushing to the pushing on the right. I figure um, that causes the right to line first. It does in this lock anyways. The left side's all uh, loose. So, um, one, two, and three's a little binder. There, it's jiggling now. Four, click, it's still binding. It's jiggling now. Five, six is jiggling. Five's jiggling. Oh, I might have just put four too high up. Three. Let's see. I got a deeper hook. See if I can feel four. Uh, it might be okay. Not 100% on that. I'll go to the back and feel um, six and five. Oh, I just lifted, or I just messed up my warning. Six is very jiggly. Five's jiggly, six is jiggly. I'm nervous about four. She feels very high up. Three, some some pins are very high up. So that could be okay. All right, just set two. And one is now binding. Oh, dropped into um, a false set, or more of a false set rather. And one is still binding. Binding hard. And it went up further, it's still binding. It's pretty far up there. I'll switch to a deep hook. Where is it? One, lift them up more. Try not to be pushing on the tensioner. All right, push them up. Did I get them up? Did not, it slipped off. No, come on. Maybe I did get them up, let's see. One is jiggly there. Using my left thumb to, to feel the different pins. Maybe I'll switch back to the medium hook. Check the back. Six jiggle. Five jiggle. Four doesn't seem to be jiggling. Or, or maybe it is. Three, two, and one. All right, so it might be that the right side's all set. Let's go ahead and turn it on the bottom, get this thing off, put the tension back on the top. Wish I had better glasses, but I don't think I don't think the right side's fully set. We'll test the left side, see if we can feel any binders down the left. I cannot see in this keyway, unfortunately. All right, one little click, I mean two little clicks, sorry. One was jiggly, or, or loose, rather. 
I cannot see a thing, so purely by feel. Come on. Hard to find the pins when you can't see them. One, two. Can I get stuck under some ledge? One, two. Stuck under some ledge. Let's see. One, two. I'm not sure what I'm getting stuck under. Is this a uh, this a deep hook? Because they're pretty high from the bottom on this left side. Two. Right, let's try. Uh, is that the deep hook or that's the medium hook? Let's try the deep. I guess that was just the medium hook. Let's try the deep hook. Maybe that'll have better like upward angle to get into these uh onto these sliders. Two. What am I getting stuck on? Sorry, I'm not saying much right now. I'm trying to fill these pins. Let's see. First pin, loose. Second pin, jiggle. Where's the third pin? I think that's the third pin there. Jiggle. Fourth pin, click, jiggle. Fifth pin, binding. Click. Still, Ugh. sorry, I'm having a hard time with these pins. First pin might be binding actually. All right, click out of the first pin. Where are you? Oh, I'm having a weird time down here. I don't practice my picking down here. I practice at my desk upstairs and we're open. Um, sorry, that was a, uh, I, I usually prefer to explain a lot more as I'm going, but I, I really couldn't see, like, uh, you can see the slider nubs poking into the keyway and um, I can't see the ones like, I can see one and two on the left and right. I can't see three, four, five, but what I can see is that my pick is aligned with the first nub, but with the lighting here on the camera, I can't even see that. So at my desk, I can see um, I can see how my pick is aligned in that keyway. Uh, so it was it was a lot of feel, and I just wasn't used to it. So, uh, but in any case, uh, that's open. So, and um, you should be able to see. Well, let's see. Let's take this out of here. Turn on some autofocus, and we can see that you know that that piece moves and then we can lock it up and still work it. So uh, I went ahead and I pre-loosened um, this screw here so we can get it out just by hand. And then once you take that out, you can not lose it. Bring that pinning tray over. You can um, pull this piece off and then you can sell the other half, right? so that two pickers can have a, a lock. Maybe I'll do that, move that out the way. Um, simple clip on the back, C-clip on the back. There we go. Uh, and then to remove this, you can just kind of push it out and wiggle it out and lift the lift the pins as you pull it out. But I think Rain designed this, uh, this gut key, which is really nice. It'll hold all the uh, pins at the right height you can get in there straight um, and then the whole thing will just slide out you just want to catch the sidebars and you also want to catch this front piece mine doesn't really fly out but sometimes they can fly out uh, so sidebars left sidebar there's two springs that push it outward and it has little um, little things that poke out and those you see those you want them to face away from the uh, that little key centering piece. 
so they face they should be downward um, so there's one sidebar and the right sidebar same deal let's see if we can drop that out that side same deal there okay and now what you can you can pull this front piece out it's not easy to get out but there we go and then there's a spring in there that doesn't usually come out sometimes it does I had to replace mine actually because this thing I don't think it ever came out but I don't know the spring flew out somehow um, I don't know where it is any old spring will work uh, and then you got these eight sliders so what we'll do is we'll hold them down pull out this and then we can uncover them some of them like the ones that are a bit uh, I guess higher up they'll they'll shoot out if you're not careful so um, from the picking perspective when I came in this was my right side this was my left side because I picked it uh, upside down I guess so what I'll do is we'll do this and we'll take the right side ones put them on the right side so that's the this is the first side that I picked right so that would be number six first one I picked there five four three two one so there's six per side there's 12 total I'll take six on this side as well six come on no. five all right, four on the right. I'll just pull these out and then we'll look at them after. Four, three. I don't know if I'm putting these all the same orientation, but we'll fix it after. They have thick and a thin, uh, a thick nub and a thin nub on them. The thin nub goes against the spring. The thick nub is what goes into the keyway. Um, start pulling some springs out too while we're at it. Why not? Can barely see these. I need better glasses. Don't have an eye exam till May though. All right. Um, but for the most part, you really don't need too much eyesight to pick. It's mostly all about your hands and your feeling. Fortunately, I don't do much in the way of manual labor. Uh, so my hands are pretty sensitive, I guess. Um, all right, let's pull some springs out. Not that they're very important. Well, I mean, they're important, but they're not important to see. They're all the same. And, you know, if you did omit these springs from your lock, it would probably be a whole lot harder to pick. And it, I don't know if the key would work. There's all those. All right, let's take a, take a look at what we got. Um, the sliders go up and down in here and reveal the gates on the side here for the sidebar to, to drop in. So only if you have all the gates at the true gates will, will that, that sidebar drop in. So if we look at one of these like this, you can see that it has if I can turn it, oh, come on. It has two shallow cuts. You see that? Uh, the sidebar, sidebar will drop into those and you'll get a little false set. And then you have to counter rotate a little bit to drop it down, drop it down, and you want to drop into that deep true gate. Um, only when the sidebar is able to drop fully into this channel will it allow the lock to turn out of these channels on the on the uh, on the cylinder. So if we drop one of these sidebars in here. Now, it sticks out like that, but if, if all those true gates are lined up, you can drop it in, right? And what that will do is that while it's in here, the right way around, you can see it is in that groove of the cylinder. The plug is stopped by the sidebar, but if they all line up, then you see that sidebar can drop in and allow you to turn the plug. So that's, that's the locking me mechanism. These two sidebars are what's stopping it. Um, and each of these pins, or these, each of these sliders has a uh, a thin pin, and that's going to go. The spring is going to push from this side of it, and then a thick pin, and that's what's going to go along the key, the top of the key, right, like that, to get the right height. 
Uh, let's try to get each of these arranged. This might take another minute of just kind of boring this, um, just so that you can see all the all the gates. So I'll zoom out a little while I do this, so that my you're not just watching my hands. Uh, try to get the thin side facing the spring. I think that's right. I have a hard time seeing the difference between the thick and the thin right now. But the gates are all pointing down when it's the right way around. Um, this side, they, they won't face the spring unless I... Unless... that I think I think that's right this one's wrong this is this one okay there we go so that'll show that each of the um, each of the sliders now this is a not uh, unmastered one you can have mastered ones where m more than one of these I guess will have a slot I don't know if they have wide gates or stuff I don't have mastered ones yet I have some in the mail coming um, so I don't know exactly what mastering looks like on these, but the unmastered ones, you see they each only have one true gate and two false gates on each. In any case, that is the EVA Duel. All right, thank you. thanks everyone. Bye.